All right, so let me do a uh, quick video on how to reprogram Illuminator ODK3. So the first thing you wanna start with is once you've finished your message listing in uh, IPS or Message Writer 2.0, uh, you go to Project, go to Compile, click whatever sign set you wanna use, click your LOD, but for ODK3s and 4s and possibly 2s, You'll click the uh, EH0142 LOD file, and then you'll compile. IPS will give you a prompt when it's done, and then you can exit. And then, uh, let's see. Oh, wrong folder. And then, you'll find your compiled message listing there. And then, you. I put it onto a, a thumb drive to move it onto a different computer for compiling onto a Luminar flashcard. I'm about to check that. Okay. Now, put it into this computer. Uh, this computer is specially designated to convert files that are just like standard. NTFS format, whatever, and it put them on this Luminator, or not even Luminator, it's a linear flash PC MICA card. Um, it has like a special format that helps push data onto the ODK3. So, first thing you gotta do is find the MTU file, which is like the, uh, the zipped version of the message listing which is also in a special format because Luminar systems are very special in many ways. Okay, come on. And gotta put this in the appropriate folder. There. I can take this out because I don't need it anymore. And then um, this laptop has a special PCMICA port because it's old as f all hell. Uh, let me just slide that in there. It goes in like a uh, modern SD card. No, because there's another program that you use to read data and I don't want to risk destroying the card because it took me a while to find the right kind. change the file format because the uh, the software I used to convert MCU files and push them on to the PCMICA card um, it's called memory card explorer and normally it looks for uh, data bin files so we gotta change that to all files and then you find your file I don't know if you notice but you press the save icon or the the floppy disk icon and then you change the file format to all files and then click your MTU file choice. You can see I have like a bunch of different files here for different things I've experimented with, but let's do this one for now. It's a private listing I'm working on for someone. And then once you found your file, you click write. Uh, there's already something on the card, but I don't need it. I can always rewrite it again. So let's overwrite. And then it'll slowly but surely put the MTU file on the flash card. Occasionally there can be a checksum error, but most often there isn't. And then once it's done, you get something like this. And then you can eject. And I'll just leave that open for now. Let's go over to the ODK console thing. Uh, there. Oh, wait, is it? I don't know. Or maybe it's just a light. I don't know. Anyway, let's turn this on. It's on. It's initializing. 
Okay, that's a completely different program. Uh, I put in the 99, 999 uh, test code that just shows the version number and also what program is in the ODK currently. Um, this is a test file that I did in Message Writer a couple months ago, and I think I just did a test for it or something. But, and also the formatting on the second line of the ODK is kind of wonky because Message Writer is also special because Luminator in general is very special. All right. Now I just got to tear off this bumper and slide in the OD, the PC card slots. As long as everything is successful, it'll prompt you to uh, remove the card and download will be successful, and then it'll flash that screen. Boot itself up again. And I guess I entered a bad code. Oh yeah, there is no triple nine code in this listing, but there is a quadruple nine. And using the quadruple nine, that just tells me that the message listing is working as it should, along with all the different messages. So, uh, let's try something. Let's try. That one. And then let's do one more. Oop. Occasionally, um, actually no, it's probably a more widespread thing than I realize, but I've only seen two official message listings, but there's usually like a, a number convention. I do it, the, the first one represents a district, the first, or the second two digits represent like a root number, and then the last one is like an index. So, district one, root 17, index zero. And that will be for, when it finishes, root 17 to Getty Square. But yeah, that's how you um, reprogram an ODK3. Eventually, I'll do one for the ODK4 up there. But until then, see you later. Oh, let's break that out too. Yeah, see you later.